Hey everybody, welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday at Northside Lexus. Um, Eric is about to join us and uh, right now today we are in a 2018 NX. Say hi to everybody. Hey guys, how are we? We're good. Just in time, right? Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Whew. Chris is on. Whoa. All right. One of our groupies. I know. Love it. Gotta, gotta love the fans. That's right. So if you are watching us live, give us a heart. Yay. There's a heart. That's a heart. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the love. If you're watching on the replay, thumbs up. Oh, we already. Somebody's on the we replay. Have a replay. <laughs> but we are live. This is not Memorex. <laughs> this is live. Maybe they're in the future. Maybe, Maybe they are time travelers. Skynet is real. Yeah, we don't have that on the vehicles yet. Coming soon. Ah, no, just kidding. So we do have some features that are pretty awesome and sometimes overlooked yes sometimes not understood yes and that is why we are here that's what we do so what do you want to tell them about today uh today we're going to look at some key features automatic automatic parking brake parking brake and brake. Uh, also uh, brake hold yes okay we're so, going to actually demonstrate that yeah, so you're going to have idea. to hold the camera okay and i will i'll drive and i will put my seatbelt on okay as good everyone should buckle up otherwise it'll beep at us incessantly well, no, because not just the beeping, because you should have your seatbelt on when safety. you're driving. Safety first, Come folks. On, people. Right? So, uh, okay, we ready? What? Let's uh, talk let's, about this. Let's do it. Okay, so, take a look. We may hold. Yeah, sure. There we go. All right. So, rolling. When you are putting your vehicle into park. If you have an automatic parking brake, you're right. going to have the word auto. If you do not have a little light on for the word auto, it means it's not turned on. So we do want to turn it on. Now you'll know that your parking brake has been applied in a couple of ways. Number one, you're going to get a red light here, right. which is your emergency or parking brake. But it's also going to tell you on your dash in big red letters, park. It says park. You know that this it's is, on. And this is and different. And that you're parked. From being in park. That's right. Now, what happens stay on the dash there if I shift out of park now I'm in reverse if I shift out of park no more giant word park I'm not in park any longer my parking brake is off but the auto feature is still turned on so now, now throw it back in back into park it takes a second emergency it engages. brake engages and, and we're back on back on park in the emergency brake. Now on some of the vehicles, you can hear it more than others, the right. little servo that's actually operating the automatic or electronic parking brake. And uh, they, they did that on purpose. So usually we try to keep our vehicles very, very, very quiet, mm -hmm. but especially in the beginning when you're introducing an electronic parking brake, People aren't used to that. Right. So they're used to a hand crank or applying it with their foot. It's old school. You know, we rolled windows down and things like that back <laughs> yeah. in the day. But what we want to make sure that they know is when they hear that sound, it's a little kathunky right. sound, mm -hmm. that it's the brake engaging. The so it's an actual brake. audible response yes. that we've put in the cars yes. in order to showcase that, hey, your brake your is emergency applied. brakes on. So you can be reassured. Yeah. Okay? That's a good idea. So I want to show you how to turn the auto feature off and then how to also turn it back on just in case. And Let I've had some guests that. that are like, hey, why do I want this on? So, right. um, and also like usually what I tell them is if I'm parking on my driveway, which mm -hmm. is a bit of an incline, I like having that because then I'm not rolling back into my gears and sure. of course it, it uh, is actually doing its job. Yes. So I just leave it on all the time. It's more convenient yeah. for me. That's mm -hmm. why I do it. I don't have to think about it. Right. So it's a little bit of a safety and convenience feature mm -hmm. all together. We're getting a woohoo muy bueno. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank Mundo. you, Mundo. Yay. We're so glad you're here. Um, so let's take a look at those controls. Let's so do let's it. Flip that. around. So again, we're in auto, it's turned on. Here's our parking brake. So mm -hmm. if I turn this off, so I'm just gonna push this down. Now I've, I've turned it off, but I've left auto on. Mm -hmm. If I wanna turn auto completely off, I need to hold it down until the light goes off. We have the ding, and up here real quick, if you can see it, it says automatic mode off. And the brake symbol also turned off that right, was previously so that's, off. Right, so that's all gone. That's at park. So if we want to turn the, just the parking brake on, mm -hmm. I can lift up until the red light comes on. Now the emergency or parking brake is on, but if I want to go back to that auto mode, I need to lift and hold until the light comes on. We hear the beep 
automatic mode on, shift operation sets or releases parking brake. So that's just what we demonstrated before. Right, okay. Excellent. So now there's another cool thing that you get to do when you have an electronic brake or electronic parking brake. This is called brake hold. We're getting fancy with our That's right, our lighting. Trying to make sure we can see here. it. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, brake hold. The way brake hold works is it actually holds your foot brake. Can we get my fancy hot pink shoes. cat shoes in? Oh, oh, meow, meow, meow. All right, it's a car All show, right, not so a fashion All right, so there we go. Well, it's both. It's a Lexus. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So when you have brake hold engaged, a couple of things happen. Number one, you have to push it. Mm -hmm. If you push it and you do not have your seatbelt on, it's going to tell you. So driver's seatbelt unbuckled. Brake hold unavailable. All right, now I have my seatbelt on. Click it or tick it, baby. <laughs> if I push brake hold, now I have the capacity to use brake hold. So Let it's on right here. Can, can you see that? There we go. There it is. Right there. Uh -huh. It's going to engage when I am actually driving right. and I've come to a stop. So I need to come to a complete stop. This is great for things like sitting in a train. So let's check this out. So I am going to just back up a wee bit out of our parking area here. And then I'm going to show you how this works. So we're going to go into drive. And so if and I that have... brake hold is still on. I see the button. Right. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to come to a complete stop. Because I have brake hold on, you see how it lights up yellow and it says hold? Uh -huh. Can you show my fancy cat shoes again? Let's this see. is why I wore these, so you can actually see, see my it. feet. Let's get in here. All right, right now I'm applying the brake. I see the brake applied. All right, now uh, I, I do not have the foot on the brake any longer. Are we're we in going drive. anywhere? We're in drive there. Brake is off. And we're I'm, in drive there. We're not going anywhere. Show them outside so they can see that we're not actually moving. Yeah, zero <laughs> miles an hour. Okay, so brake hold. Now let's say the train is gone, the arms for the gate are up, and I'm ready to go again. All I have to do is tap on the accelerator, and I'm ready to go again. When I come to a complete stop... I see the brake hold activate again. Once I see it activate, then I can remove my foot from the brake. So it's not going to stop for me. Cat shoes are off the Cat brake. shoes are off the brake. Cat okay. shoes are the best. <laughs> but you do need to be paying attention to the fact that it is engaged. So number one, it needs to be turned on. Yeah. Number two, you have to have your seatbelt on. Right. Number three, come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. Number four, when it says hold in gold. Hold, hold in, gold. in gold. Man, genius today. Yeah, on fire. <laughs> then you know you can take your foot off the brake. You know, uh, one of the best reasons that this has come up with my some of my customers is uh, waiting in the uh, school pickup line. Oh, sure. Carpool lane. Carpool lane. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, just, just waiting. And every time, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. And so brake hold has come in handy for those people. But it's Absolutely. one of those things on our cars that is there to reduce fatigue, obviously, yep. but also just convenience sake. But if you don't know what's there... Chances yeah. are you aren't going to use it. So and I'm going to recommend that you do what we just did. Test this out in a driveway or in a mm -hmm. parking lot. Mm -hmm. Test it out on your street when no right. one's around. We want you to feel confident and comfortable before you use it, especially in a carpool pickup lane. Yes. And know what your job is in that. You're still actively driving. You are still actively braking. So you are still responsible for what you're doing behind the wheel of that vehicle. Right. So don't use it until you're confident and comfortable. But it is like we just did. You can do this right in your driveway Absolutely. and test it out and make sure it works. We didn't even really completely leave no, the parking space. We, didn't. <laughs> we moved eight feet. Woo! <laughs> awesome. So brake hold, electronic parking brake. Yep. Our automatic parking brake. Yeah. Whatever you call it. Some it, people call uh, it an emergency brake. Emergency brake. brake. Same thing. That's right. It's going to stop you. Yeah. And an when you're in park, yeah. it uh, it activates into auto mode. Yeah. Just to summarize. So, some great points here. Awesome. All about stopping. Yay. But we want you to stop by Northside Lexus. We do. And let us know if you have any technology questions yeah. or if you need help with your vehicle or if That's you need right. a new vehicle mm -hmm. or if you need a pre-owned vehicle. We're here to help with that as well. Because they have technology too. They do. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of it. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for joining us, guys. Tech, Tech Tip Tuesdays. Tuesday. We'll see, you see you next, next week. week. We're almost in stereo. I know, right? Crazy. Give us some hearts. We love you. Share. See us on YouTube. Yeah. Whatever we need to do to guarantee your Bye. Business. Happy Tuesday. Currently. See you later.